Well, there certainly is a lot of noise today in the shop, but that is good news because that means that we are open again and I'm certainly looking forward to seeing everyone again. And let's get started with our tip number three. Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Udo and welcome to a brand new tip of the week. In this home studio tips series, we've been taking you through a few basic steps that you can take to build your own home recording studio. So if you haven't checked out our first and second episodes yet, I will link them in the description below because today we will dive even deeper into our home essentials checklist. While you're at it, please like us and subscribe to our channel so that you can keep up to date with our latest news. Let's get started with our fifth point on our home studio checklist, which is studio monitors. Okay, firstly, I want to clarify that when I speak of studio monitors, I don't mean computer screens. Even though we could put screens on our home essential items list, Today I want to speak of studio monitors which are speakers that are high quality to reproduce sound very accurately. Now you might be asking why do you need studio monitors if you already have computer speakers at home? And it's true that both of them will reproduce sound but generally speaking a studio monitor should reproduce the sound much more accurately than a general computer speaker. And that is really what we want when we are composing music or listening back to mixes that we are making or recording sounds because that means that we can more accurately edit the sounds and we know what we get as an end result. That is why you want dedicated studio monitors. Now there are a few terms when it comes to studio monitors that are good to understand and the one is does it have flat frequency response. What we're aiming for in a studio monitor is to give you a very accurate frequency response so that you know that it's a very good speaker. It doesn't hype or boost certain frequencies. That is really what you want to aim at when building your home studio so that you know that your mixes will be accurate when listening to them on other speakers. Also one other tip that I would like to give you is do not place your studio monitors too close to the wall because the sound that they produce will reflect off the wall and you will not get an accurate image of the sound that you want from your mixes. Now here at MyTech Direct we offer various options in studio monitors and that is why it's so important to know what plan you have for your studio, what setup you want and also what budget you are working with. Now the first option that I want to look at is Eve Audio's SC Studio Monitors. Now this is the smallest SC which is the SC204. It's a 4 inch driver and the other models that they offer are the SC205 and SC207 the 205 has a 5 inch monitor and the 207 has a 7 inch driver. Now these are bi-amplified studio monitors meaning that they are, have separate amplification for both the tweeter and the woofer and they are powered monitors meaning that you don't need an extra powered amplifier to drive the speakers. Here in the front we have a dedicated volume control which can be pressed in and can also be used to shape the sound according to the room that you're in Maybe your room is too small, meaning that there are more bass frequencies reflecting, then you can shape that sound to really accurately produce the sound that you want. At the back, we can see that it has a balanced and unbalanced input, which is good to have, and it also has a filter switch. Now the SC series offers great value for money and very accurate flat frequency response. It doesn't generally hide many frequencies, of course, when you buy a smaller speaker, it means it is struggling a bit in the low frequency range. So if you are looking for something with a bit more oomph in the low frequencies, you can look at the SC205 or SC207, which have a bit more low frequency response. Now, another very popular monitor when it comes to studio monitors is the KRK Rocket series. This specific one is the third generation of the Rocket monitors. These days you also have the G4 which is the newer model of these ones. 
Now the KRK rockets are really hard to beat at the price point. They offer great frequency response even though they do hype the bass a bit and are generally used a bit more with dance and electronic music. This specific Rocket 8 has an 8 inch woofer but should you want a smaller speaker you can also buy the Rocket 6 or Rocket 5s which have smaller woofers. It has a dome tweeter to accurately reproduce high frequency sounds. Now at the back we have dedicated knobs to also shape our sound slightly when we are on different venues or rooms to maybe boost less low end or less high end and it has a volume boost and cut. Cool, that's it for this week's tip of the week. I hope I could help you in making a more informed decision when buying a studio monitor. Now, should you want to try any one of these monitors that I mentioned or other ones, you're welcome to come browse in our shop here at MyTech Direct. My name is Udo Stele and this is MyTech Direct series on home studio tips. Till next week. Thank you.